and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to simulate a super zoom. It's fairly easy, you need the right footage, obviously a static shot, for example here landscape, that's fine. And when there is some detail, let's say this rock over here, that's the perfect footage to use. We need effect controls and later on the effects, so if you don't find that, go to window and click on it. And we need animations for scale and position. Let's start right here, and then we'll go forward a little bit. I will create new keyframes by clicking on these circles. And now we have to adjust the scale and the position for the second keyframe. Let me scale it up five times, so 500. And now I move to the right and down. I could even scale it up more, but you can already see that at some point the resolution of your footage plays a huge role and you might get footage that's not very sharp. So don't overdo it or make sure that you've recorded it with the right resolution. So this is the basic zoom and we can make that faster by dragging these keyframes a bit closer to the first ones, so we're closing the gap. By default you can see it's a linear animation, but if we select them all, right click temporal interpolation and we'll ease it in and ease it out. We've created kind of like a ramp for the in and out point, and that makes it look a little bit smoother. Once more, the resolution isn't fine for this clip and this position. So in this example, it would be better to pick a different mountain, for example, this one in the center. So let us just do this. I go to the second keyframes, and now I'll have to reposition it. And again, right click, ease it in and ease it out. Let me roll the clip again. And that has created a smooth a super zoom. Or we can add a nice little detail to it. Just type in directional blur into your effects menu and drag and drop it on your footage in the timeline. Now we've got it here in effect controls. Go to the first keyframe of the animation, so for scale and position. Then start an animation for blur length under the direction of blur. Go forward to the last keyframe and create a new one for the blur length. So for both of these keyframes, we want to have a blur of zero and somewhat in the center. Just add maybe like 50, oh, that was already too much, let's say 20. And we want to adjust the direction to horizontal blur, so I'll make that 90 degrees. And now you can see that while it zooms in, we've got this blur effect added. And this is how you can create this super zoom simulation effect in Premiere Pro. I hope this video is helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.